Hello YouTubers and welcome to another beer review with me Peter the Master of Puppets looking at yet another beer that was sent to me from Lauri from Finland. Thanks so much dude, you rule. So guys, this one is going to be interesting I think. This is a double IPA from um, Vakkasuum and Panimo and this is a Prykmesa double IPA. I had their uh, Weizenbach which is pretty nice. Uh, but this is a double IPA on 8.5% alcohol, and uh, one of my subscribers called uh, Anti Atni. Uh, sorry, man. Anti uh, contacted me. Contacted me. He's from Finland. He contacted me and gave me some info on the beers. So this one is made in collaboration with uh, Anas Kismaya from Kismaya Beer, a fairly famous uh, Danish brewer. And the brewery usually specializes in German styles, however this is not a German style, as you know, it's an American style IPA and it's hopped with six different, or made with six different malts and then it has hop varieties, all hop varieties in it is from uh, New Zealand, except Cascade, so sounds like this could be a winner guys. I do love me some New Zealand hops. So yeah, so far the beers you sent has been pretty nice, I mean there's been a couple of those, just you know, solid ones. But other than that, it's been some pretty tasty Finnish craft beer. It's pretty cool to see where countries are at uh, with the whole craft beer thing and, and what's popular there. So it's really dark for a double IPA. It's almost in like barley wine territory. I mean, it's very dark amber, like rust orange or copper. Uh, nice kind of off a beige head to it, actually. Let's see about the aroma. It smells like a barley wine for sure. I don't know the age on it, but this reminds me of something like... Um, Bigfoot from Sierra Nevada, actually. This does not smell like a double IPA. On the aroma, at least. It's very malt heavy. Um, lots of kind of sweet, caramel, toffee malt. Almost smells like, yeah, you know American barley wine. Uh, almost like sugary, caramely, almost got bordering into dark fruit characters. I'm definitely thinking that this is not fresh. Because it's got a lot of malt. Actually, the malt. Uh, outshines the hops, so it's probably not a super fresh bottle. That's how it is now, at least. I'm getting like some bitter, uh, earthy, resiny, kind of dark, dank, almost hop thing going on, but I'm also really shining on this one, so let's give it a taste, guys. Cheers, and thanks a bunch to Lowry for the beer. Yeah, that drinks like an American barley wine by now, for sure. Very bitter on the back end as well, yeah. If you call this an American party wine, dead on, spot on, and really got a good one at that. But if you call it double IPA, I think this has way too much malt character. Because uh, it is sweet and malty and bready and chewy and caramel. Not, that's not bad, especially if you're talking barley wines, but it does say double IPA on the label. But it also might be something with the age. Uh, I'm getting that kind of sweet caramel toffee flavor again, almost like a dark fruit, and then a really Intense kind of resiny, earthy, uh, tree sap kind of evergreen flavor. Like really intense and bitter. It really sm it tastes like something like, you know, your Bigfoot barley wines and whatnot. Like a really bitter monster of a barley wine with like a ton of hops. But it's still pretty nice. I mean, if we look at this, and it would be nice now to look at this as an American barley wine instead of IPA. This is really nice American barley wine actually. With, you know, a little bit of tea flavor, black tea, you get that kind of grapefruit as well, but mostly like evergreen, tree sap, or resin, uh, earthy, garlicky, oniony flavors, and whatnot. So, rating wise, from the, for the Drukmesta, oh, no, not Drukmesta, that's the line of yours, from the uh, Vakasuomen Drukmesta, and I believe that was a region in uh, Finland, and uh, yeah, Antti said that he almost couldn't understand their dialect, which is crazy. Finnish is pretty hard to understand, but yeah, rating-wise. So, since it says IPA, I'm gonna knock it a little for that. So let's go with an 86. It's still a really nice beer. It's, it's American barley wine, right? But uh, if this was uh, labeled as an American barley wine, I could go higher because it definitely tastes more like that, and just, you know, the standpoint of what you're getting. If it says double IPA on the bottle and it doesn't taste like a double IPA, it tastes more like a barley wine, I think it should be called a double I or a barley wine on the bottle, but that's just me. So, still nice stuff, guys. Definitely worth checking out if you can get your hands on it. 
So that does it for the review of the Vodka Suomen Panimo Drukmesta Double IPA made in collaboration with Anna's Kissmaya from Kissmaya Beer. Thanks so much for the already for the beer. You rule, really, dude. Really appreciate it. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. And I'm gonna say cheers. And see you guys in another beer review.